A terrorist group, ISIS, so determined to shock civilized people everywhere, has now resorted to a new method of murder. They have executed a Jordanian Air Force pilot by burning him alive. And we'll point out just as quickly here, we're not going to air a bit of that here tonight. This execution, while no more vile than any of the others, may be different in terms of how Jordan now reacts to the murder of a pilot and a Muslim. And in the background here is the knowledge that an American woman is also being held by the same group. We have it covered tonight, beginning with our chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel. Richard, good evening. Good evening, Brian. There is absolute outrage in Jordan. People are furious. They are shocked. There are calls for military action, and there's been a strong show of support for the monarchy. Locked in a metal cage, doused in fuel, the young Jordanian pilot moments before being burned alive. The most savage act yet from a group known for its shocking brutality. In Jordan, relatives could not contain their disgust and grief and fury. The pilot was First Lieutenant Moaz al Kasaspe, 26, just married in July, an elite member of Jordanian society. He was captured the day before Christmas after ejecting from his F 16 on a mission to attack ISIS in Syria, part of the U.S. led coalition. Jordan's King Abdullah, a close U.S. ally, at the White House today before cutting short his Washington visit. <laughs> Earlier on Jordanian television, he called the murder cowardly terror by a group with no relation to Islam. President Obama said the killing intensifies his determination to fight ISIS. Should, in fact, this video be authentic, it's just one more indication of the viciousness and uh, barbarity of this organization. Jordan had been considering a prisoner swap for the pilot, exchanging him for three militants on death row, including this woman, captured after her suicide vest failed to go off during a 2005 attack on three hotels in Amman. 60 people were killed. Jordan said last week it would free her, but first wanted proof that its pilot was still alive. In fact, Jordan believes he may have already been dead burned alive just days after his capture. And that woman on death row, Jordan says it will execute her and five other militants as early as tomorrow, Brian. All right, Richard Engel starting us off tonight. Richard.